Rwanda's Minister of State for Regional Cooperation, retired General James Kabarebe, has shed light on the genesis and the cause of strained relations between Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Adam Squizera with more on this. In an interview with Mvema de Zolale of the Center of, Strat of the Center for Strategic and International Studies, retired General James Kabarebe pointed out on the current relations of Rwanda and its neighboring states. So we have had good relationships with our neighbors. We have not had any problem with Tanzania, for example. With Uganda, it has been on and off, but we have a very long history of uh, and a very strong relationship, historical relations with Uganda. Even with a few skirmishes that have taken place, they have been easily overcome and easily because they, they, they are not, there's nothing fundamental uh, that uh, is difficult to deal with between us and Uganda. So with Uganda, we, have, we are okay and we have, we have been fine. Even with Burundi, it has not been very difficult for a very long time. In Burundi, we only had the recent skirmishes uh, originating from their own internal uh, problems. So there is nothing deep Nothing difficult with Burundi that cannot be settled. Rwanda's Minister of State, retired General James Kabarebe, shed light on the genesis and the cause of the strained relations between Rwanda and DRC that has fueled tensions for decades. The genocidal forces, militias and their government forces that had been received by Mobutu along our border, the whole stretch, western stretch, very close to the border, 1994, 1995, they had started incursions into Rwanda. They had started entering Rwanda, killing our people again, selectively killing the Tutsis that had, that had, been, that had been saved or had, had survived the 1994 genocide. But at the same time, the genocidal forces that crossed into Zaire in 1994 on reaching there, they found other people, Congolese, similar to Tutsis that they had killed here in Rwanda. So they embarked on them and also persecuted them and killed them. Some of them made their way and came to Rwanda, went to Burundi, went to Uganda for refuge. That was 1994. All of those are still refugees since then in these countries. In this interview, Third General James Kabarebe addressed on various allegations. The biggest problem with the DRC today is not even the issue of M23. M23 is a repercussion of, uh, uh, a ramification of all of that, all of that history. The DRC has made one strategic mistake, especially the leadership, the various leaderships of DRC after 1994, 96. For them to have chosen and constructed an anti Rwanda, particularly anti Tutsi uh, sentiment, and used it as a political tool to gain legitimacy of the Congolese population. So that they have chosen to, to, to label everything, all their failures, all their problems of the DRC as being caused by Rwanda. The Minister of State for Regional Cooperation in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, retired General James Kabarebe, has also highlighted on the country's development journey over the last 30 years. No, talk about. So after 1994, then Rwanda embarked on uh, the journey of reconstruction, post-genocide, reconstruction, building institutions, strong institutions, building a system that works, governing a system that works, reuniting our people, and then embarking on the economic path, economic development path. I think after 30 years now, 
we have registered some progress. This interview has also highlighted the role of the DRC government, which continues to reject the measures outlined in the Luanda process. Measures intended to bring the solution to the ongoing issues in the Eastern DRC. Adam Squizera, RTV News.